Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So today we're talking about how to build a DAP in one minute. And I've got Patrick here to talk about his project where he's built a tool that will help you deploy and manage DAPs fast and, and create them in less than one minute. So welcome to the channel, Patrick. Hey Gregory, thanks for having me. Yeah, glad to have you on today. So Patrick, um, tell me a little bit, uh, you know, so what, what's your project called really fast? So the project is called One Click DAP, and the idea is that after you create a smart contract, you want the next thing you want to do is create a DAP, and you want to do it quickly, um, and you want to test it and share it with your friends. So that's the point of One Click DAP. Yeah, very cool. And you know, Patrick and I were even kind of talking a little bit earlier offline about just some of the pain points that developers have with the tools and like the learning curve, kind of getting into blockchain and writing smart contracts and you know, deploying them to public blockchains and managing them and things like that. And it can be, you know, really frustrating as a newcomer to the space. So tell me a little bit about that and like, you know, why you kind of created this and like the pain points that you're trying to solve. Yeah, exactly. So I've had plenty of new developers come and talk about how many tools there are available and, and uh, how difficult they are. I mean, the first day of blockchain development, you have to learn Remix, you have to learn MetaMask, you have to learn Etherscan. And that's just to create a smart contract. And then once you want to actually create something with a front end, with a, um, an interface, you know, you have to learn a bunch more tools. So um, I just wanted something that was easy and simple to use and to take the frustration out of uh, developing a smart contract. Yeah, very cool. And, you know, I think Patrick's got a pretty good insight on this. You know, he does some, uh, you know, live training and things like that for blockchain developers. Uh, I think as Pat, Patrick and I actually initially connected as I was doing a, a workshop, with a, was it was at Hackadal uh, earlier this year. Um, and yeah, as Patrick reached out to me and was kind of telling me about his project, and I thought it was really cool and that he had, you know, kind of done a good job with this. So I'm excited to take a look at how this thing works. All right, well, let's jump in. So um, typically, if you want to create an interface for a smart contract and share it with somebody, you know, there's a couple options. One is you can go to Etherscan and have your contract validated. Um, and that'll give you a link uh, to share with somebody, but it's not very pretty looking. Um, it's, uh, it, it's confusing for new users. There's a lot of stuff going on the page here, and you have to go through the process of having it verified. You can also go to uh, My Ether Wallet and plug in the details there, but that doesn't persist longer than, you know, after you close the web page. So, right. Kind of so, there are tools out there. They're not very developed, and they're not persistent. Like, you can't bookmark it very well and come back to it and have it saved. Like, you can with Etherscan, but it's, we need something better, right? Exactly. Yeah. So um, I'll go ahead and walk through uh, creating a DAP right now. Cool. So the first step is you want to give your DAP a name. So we are going to name it Patrick Token. And this is um, going to be a DAP that I deployed using Remix. And it's a very simple contract that you might learn um, on your very first time, you, um, you know, writing a smart contract, it's essentially keeping track of balances for a user. So I've deployed this at, um, at an address on the Ropsten network. So we're gonna grab the address here in Remix and we're gonna paste it. And we're gonna select the network, which is Ropsten. And then we're gonna go back to uh, Remix and grab the interface. Uh, ABI application binary interface, copy that and paste that in. And if all goes well, we shouldn't get any error messages and we're ready to go to the next step. Awesome. And so we've got a smart contract on the test network. We just got the details for that smart contract and put it in the, the one click DAP interface here. And now we're going to get the, uh, the final results. So well, drum roll, please. <laughs> exactly. So here's, uh, here's the last option. Uh, we're going to create a free DAP, which is uh, always going to be free for everyone to use, and you can make as many as you want. So we're going to hit the button, and boom, we have our um, our DAP that's loaded up. So awesome! So um, you can see here that we have a name, 
we have and we have a link. Um, oh, I like it. Yeah, very cool. So uh, the link is going to help us to bookmark the DAP or come back to the page at any time. And then we also have information uh, for people um, who are coming to the DAP from that, that aren't the ones that created it. So we have the network and the address. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, I like it. So uh, let's see. So how do we actually use the smart contract with this interface? Sure. So um, first we need to enable MetaMask. And that's, you know, I think it should pop up automatically, but maybe I've already enabled it. Yep, so uh, oh, there, we go. That, there you go, connected. Uh, the page is going to refresh. And since I'm the one who deployed the contract, I should have a balance of 50,000 Patrick tokens to start out with. Awesome. So, uh, you know, let's go through the scenario of me sending tokens to someone. So I need to grab uh, an account to address and we are gonna paste that in there. We're gonna send a thousand Patrick tokens. And then once that is uh, confirmed, you know, what we would do is we would copy the link and we would send an email or paste it into a Slack chat and say, oh. hey, come go check out my, uh, my contract. I just sent you a thousand Patrick tokens. And so we will switch over accounts and see if it works. There we are, thousand Patrick tokens. Awesome. Yeah, very cool. I like it. So tell me um, maybe a little bit about just how this works, maybe kind of underneath the hood. It's like, what did you build this thing with? So it's built with uh, Node.js and React. And uh, the back end is uh, MongoDB. And all the code is open source. So if you want to clone it and adapt it for your own use case, it's totally um, available to do that. Awesome. Yeah, very cool. We'll, we'll probably grab some links down for the description below at the end of this video uh, and let people check, you know, out the, the app itself. If they want to look at the open source project, we'll, uh, we'll send them that direction too. Yeah, it's so very cool. And, you know, if, if you wanted to, uh, you, you kind of have a way to build interfaces for smart contracts here uh, without, you know, knowing ahead of time what the smart contract, you know, looks like and responds to. So how do you read the information from the smart contract, you know, to kind of create these fields on demand and things like that? If somebody wanted to do that in their own project. So essentially there's a loop that goes through the ABI and checks if the function is a read call or a write call, or in other words, if it's a send transaction or a call transaction, um, and depending on that, it will put them in one of these two columns and um, get, um, check whether there's any inputs and create a form based on that. And then check if there's any outputs and create a form based on that. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, so basically, you know, everybody's not familiar. We saw earlier with Patrick uh, kind of demoing on the screen with remixes, you know, smart contracts have this big JSON ABI file that just describes the smart contract. It describes what it responds to. It you know, describes the functions that it has, you know, the attributes about it, like on different networks, the bytecode, things like that. And so basically that file um, will tell us the functions the smart contract has, and he's he's read the data off of that file, um, and actually you know created an interface based on what's there. That's very cool. Yeah, this is kind of a wonky format, but essentially, uh, ABI is a is an array of all the different functions uh, for a smart contract, um, and on, all we're doing is translating that into uh, forms that the user can uh, request information from. Yeah, very cool. So um, is there anything else that you kind of want the people to watch? Sorry, that the people who are watching to know? Sure. Um, there is a premium version of this application. Yeah, so, tell us about that. So um, let me go back to the home page here. So essentially, there is 
a premium version. And the point of this is to make it fully decentralized. So when you when you create an app in this manner, uh, the the code, the raw HTML is packaged down um, and pushed to the IPFS, which is a uh, basically cloud storage. And at that point, you uh, an ENS, an Ethereum name service uh, URL is generated, and that links you to where your DAP lives on the cloud. So essentially, once you have um, your ENS domain name, you can always go back to your DAP, and you know it's your DAP because uh, that IPFS hash always routes to the same DAP. So it's a bit, it's a bit wonky, it's a bit confusing, but um, it's an effort to fully decentralize the process. Um, and so no one can tamper with your, app, your DAP once it's been deployed. So I'll show an example of what one of those might look like. Essentially, it's the the basic user interface, but with some nice um, some nice UI, and you can have your own colors and icons, and et cetera. Um, and the difference being that, uh, for example, this is a CryptoKitties, uh, what a premium version might look like. For CryptoKitties, you can specify which functions you want to view. So let's say you create a DAP, and you only want users to see, you know, four or five functions, you can just show those functions. And um, you can provide some help text as well um, to let them know what's going on. Yeah, very cool, I like that. Awesome, so that's a way that you can pay and have a fully decentralized uh, copy of this and also kind of specify what the users can actually see and interact with. That's awesome, I like it. Exactly. Yeah, very so, cool. I, I do wanna say that, uh, uh, the the wallet interface for this is built off of Dapparatus, which is an open source component um, designed by Austin Griffith to facilitate meta transactions and um, essentially give people a way to build dApps quickly. And so that's what's handling all of, you can see like, for instance, it says here, switch network to mainnet. So if you are gonna build your own dApp, I would recommend you know checking out Dapparatus. You can put a link uh, down below. And yeah, also, yeah. I've actually had Austin on the channel before talking about Dapparatus. That's very cool. Yeah, uh, awesome. It it uh it gives us these little um, you know indicators to tell us what's going on. So I, I just think it's really cool, and just wanted to share that. Yeah, very cool. I like it. Awesome. Well, uh, Patrick, I've really enjoyed this conversation today. Uh, before we wrap up here, is there anything else that you kind of want the folks at home to uh, check out or know or anything like that? Uh, sure. So I'm a blockchain instructor in the DC area and uh, also a developer as well. And uh, if you need help designing a blockchain application or if you're hiring for blockchain instructors and developers, uh, you know, I'm available. So. Yeah, very cool. So Patrick, you've done a great job here. Uh, so if anybody you know, wants to reach out to Patrick to talk about this open source project or for hiring or consultation or anything you know, teaching that, that you're up for, uh, how can they get a hold of you? So my contact is at the bottom here, um, oneclickdap.com. Awesome. And you can contact me there. Awesome. Very cool. So everybody check out oneclickdac.com. I'm going to put a link down in the description below of this video and also try to get a link to the open source project as well. Um, and, and check out, check out Patrick's project. Feel free to reach out to Patrick. If you have any questions, uh, you know, if you're looking for somebody for education or for work or anything like that. Um, so awesome, Patrick, I've really enjoyed this, uh, demonstration on how to build a DAP in one minute. I think this is a great tool, uh, a great addition to the, blockchain development ecosystem that seems like it's uh, lacking in tools sometimes. Uh, so yeah, again, everybody uh, welcome or join me in, in, in thanking Patrick for coming on the channel today. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.